Um, ladies and gentlemen, we're, when we're identifying the GCF, the GCF is not limited to just numbers. The GCF is not limited to just numbers or variables. The GCF says the greatest common factor. A factor is a number, an expression, a variable that evenly divides into a, um, into a term or an expression. So if we look at this, we say, all right, you know, what do they, what do each one of these terms have in common? And you can see each one of these has in common the expression m minus 1. Right? They all have the expression m minus 1. Now, this is m minus 1 to the first. That's m minus 1 to the second. And that's m minus 1 to the third power. But they all contain m minus 1. So therefore, that's going to be my GCF. The numbers 2, 3, and 2 do not have any common factors. So therefore, all I'm simply going to do is divide m minus 1. So when I divide m minus 1, m minus 1 divided by m minus 1 is just going to leave you with 2. Again, using the rules of exponents, just think of this as like x squared divided by x. That's going to leave you with a minus 3 times m minus 1. right? You would subtract the exponents. 2 minus 1 would give you m minus 1 to the first power. And then plus 2, m, m minus 1 cubed divided by m minus 1 is going to leave you with m minus 1 squared. Is that right, follow me? Oh, n parenthesis. There you go. Perfect.